vinegar eels. Are you sure those won't get too big for my 20 gallon? Stay tuned. Hey, what's going on guys? This is Jason with Jadron Aquatics. Thank you guys for joining me again. So today we are going to talk about vinegar eels and we're going to find out how we culture them. So first of all, what the heck is a vinegar eel? Well, first off, it's not really an eel. It's actually a roundworm. Uh, it's, a, it's, it's a type of nematode. It's basically a microscopic organism that feeds on bacteria and stuff that exist inside of vinegar. And it's non-parasite. They're great for feeding fry. They're really small, quite, uh, quite a bit smaller than actually brine shrimp, um, uh, freshly born brine shrimp. Um, so they're really good to use for uh, newly born uh, rams or newly born betas or just any other fish that's typically born from an egg that's very, very small. So they're really good to feed for the first, you know, four or five days or so until they're finally big enough to be able to feed off of uh, uh, brine shrimp. I, I, I've read different things about the vinegar eels, whether how much nutrition they actually have in them. Some people say they're good. Some people say they're not so good. Some people say just use them long enough until the fish can finally eat off of uh, brine shrimp. So let's go ahead and um, let's look at what it takes to actually culture them. So you ask, what the heck is culturing? So first of all, you start off with a, a starter one like this that someone has given you or one that you've bought online. They, they have them on Aquabid. You probably know some friends that might have them. If you just ask people that you buy fish from, they may already have some and be willing to send you some. That's how I got mine. From I ordered some fish from Dan's Fish off GetGills.com and he sent me a vinegar eel culture. So what you want to do is you want to you want to take these and you want to get these to reproduce so that you have enough for a lifetime. So what you need, first of all, is you need the vinegar eel, eels, and then you're going to need some uh, apple cider. I think this is like a one gallon, yeah, uh, apple cider vinegar, apple cider vinegar, you need that. You, then you need some, uh, some dechlorinated water. This is water that I use out of my tanks that's got prime in it. Um, you need uh, you, you need some extra bottles. Uh, you, you can make as much of this as, that you want. I'm gonna go ahead and do three uh, containers full of it. Uh, that way, I'll again I'll have it for a lifetime. And if other people need it, I'll be able to give other people uh, some. So the cool thing about the, these eels, they they reproduce like crazy. They reproduce about every eight days, and they have about forty or so babies. So you're and within about uh, about 20 days, your population can just be exponentially huge. So it doesn't take very long to get these things to grow out. Okay, so uh, the next thing that we have is we've got uh, we got 35 cents. Now this is the most important part. You need 35 cents. I don't I don't know why there's 35 cents on the table. We don't need 35 cents for anything. Uh, we've got some uh, rubber bands here. We've got some uh, filter floss or uh, polyester batting, whatever you want to call this stuff, 100% polyester. Um, then we've got some paper towels. Okay, I know you're thinking, wait a minute, that plate was not there a minute ago. That's because I forgot the apples. <laughs> okay, so the last thing that you need is apples. As you can see, I've just simply cut up some apples. Doesn't really matter how you cut it up, but you cut up some apples. Okay, so then we'll take uh, bottles. And then we're gonna take these and we're gonna fill each one of them about halfway. So we will fast forward this so you don't have to be bored with this. Okay, so as you can see, I filled each one of them up uh, a little less than halfway. I basically tried to kind of just split it into thirds. It's not critical how much you put in there. Um, so the next thing that we wanna do is we wanna go ahead and uh, we want to fill it up to about uh, about the same distance of what we put in there. It's best you want to keep the water down below where it begins to curve up because you want as much surface area as possible because the uh, vinegar eels literally come to the top and they breathe oxygen. So you want to be able to give them as much surface area as possible. So don't go way up to the top where they can't hardly get any oxygen. So we're going to go about right here. So. We'll get these filled up and uh, fast forward through that. Okay, so we got all three of them now. We used the dechlorinated water, uh, filled them up the uh, the rest of the way to this, you know, about this spot. Again, it doesn't really matter, Not no big, no big deal. Um, the next thing is, is you want to go ahead and put uh, a few apples into each one of them. Um, 
Some of these you, you're going to leave out for months and months and months and months, but because of the, the acidity of the vinegar, these things won't, um, they won't mold or anything. And this will provide food for the, uh, for the vinegar eels. So we'll just put, put a few in each one. This stuff smells really weird. It doesn't, I don't, I, I'm trying to put my finger on what it is. Yeah, oh, I know what it is. It's vinegar. <laughs> All right, so we've got the apple slices in there. So now we've got some food for the uh, vinegar eels. So the next thing we want to do is we want to take the... Uh, the package that we have of them and we want to uh, get this snipped and then I'm going to put about a third of it into each one. Okay, this thing's double sealed, so I'm trying to get it so I can just snip a corner so I can easily pour it in there. I'll show you guys a, I'll show you guys a, a shot of this so you guys can see right up here what these things actually look like when they're uh, swimming around as I uh, pour this in here. Well, while I'm getting this stuff and taking it up, upstairs, my wife is asking me like 150 questions. What are you doing with that? What What are you looking for? What do you need? And I tell her, oh, I'm doing something with the vinegar eels. And she's just like shaking her head like, I don't know what's wrong with you. And I look at her and I go, yeah, I don't know what's wrong with me either. I don't know. All right, so we've uh, emptied our entire container of vinegar eels into these. So these things are good to go now. So the next thing that we want to do is... Um, we're going to let this be the one that we're going to currently use and these two we're going to put aside. So again, these things need oxygen. So you don't want to just take your cap and put it back on top of it. The best thing to do is to take a uh, paper towel, kind of cut it into a small section here because you want this thing to still be able to breathe, but you want to keep ants and bugs and whatever else might want to try to get in there. Let me go ahead and dry that off first so it doesn't shred all over the place. Okay, we're going to put that on there, then we're going to take one of our rubber bands that we got here. Double, triple, whatever we need to do to keep that on. Okay, so now we're going to take these two and we're going to take them down and we're going to put them in the fish room. And I'm going to put them kind of in an area that uh, doesn't have to be like really dark, but just kind of a dingier area where it's not like in direct sunlight from your, your lights and your aquariums or from you know sunlight from the outside. And we're just gonna leave it there until we need to come back to these again. Or if we lose one of the cultures, we can come back to one of these other ones and restart another culture. It's always a good idea to probably have about three cultures going at all times. That way, if you do lose one, knock one over, spill one, whatever, you've always got another one to, to uh, go back to. And and share with, share with all the other fish keepers that you have around you. So that way, if you ever end up losing them all for some reason, you can always go to them and go, hey, can you give me another starter culture? Because it's great to have these things around. So. Okay, so this one I purposely uh, had uh, more vinegar in it than these. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this water and I'm going to fill this thing up quite a bit more. Okay, this one we're gonna fill about up to here. And again, this is gonna be the one that we are going to be working from. This is the one we're gonna be using on a daily basis. So the next thing we wanna do is we're gonna take some of the filter floss, the 100% polyester batting, and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take it and we're gonna, we're gonna push it in here. So we've got that in there now. And then what we're gonna do now is we're just going to top this off with just a little bit of water. And what this'll do is it'll, it'll drive the vinegar eels up into this area. 
so that you have the ability just to take a pipe bed and be able to just suck some of those vinegar eels out and you'll be sucking them out of water instead of vinegar. That way you're not inserting that vinegar into your tanks. You're only inserting this uh, dechlorinated water. Um, what some people do is they'll just take this solution and they will uh, they'll pour it over a coffee filter to get all the apple cider vinegar out and then they'll kind of wash it off with some dechlorinated water. But when you do that, you tend to lose a bunch of vinegar eels and it's a lot more messy. This tends to be the way that people uh, have a lot more success is by uh, using this water method. So let's go ahead and just top it off. So the vinegar, the vinegar is more dense than the water, so the water will literally set on top of the vinegar. So we've got this whole area up here at the top that just has water in it. So again, we'll be able to take a pipelet and we'll be able to siphon those vinegar eels off that top because again, they're trying to come to the top to get, to get oxygen. So that makes it a whole lot easier to get those out. So we'll go ahead and we'll do the same thing. We'll put the uh, paper towel uh, on the top of this also so we can seal this up and then uh... Thanks again guys for joining me. Really appreciate each and every one of you. If you guys haven't subscribed to my channel already, be sure and smash that subscribe button down there below. Be sure and click on that notification bell so that you know when I have other videos coming out. If you've got any comments you want to leave, if you know a better way of doing this or you've had more success at it or you just want to talk about vinegar eels, Put a comment down below. Love to talk to each and every one of you. Thanks again, guys, and God bless.